it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Today's video is a super exciting collection from KB Shimmer. This is their RV There Yet collection for summer 2021. This is a nine piece collection that is available right now on kbshimmer.com as well as all of KB Shimmer's international stockists. I will have all that information linked down below. And I also have a link to my blog post on nicolosnails.com where you can see all of my swatch photos. And let's just get into the swatches. First up, we have Coast Through Life. This one is described as a vibrant raspberry leaning purple linear holographic. It's priced at $11. Coast Through Life had a fantastic formula. It didn't feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues. Here, this is gonna be a pretty much one coater on pretty much everyone. Right here, um, I, I filmed this between coats. On my middle nail is one coat and all my other nails are in two coats. Honestly, I did not really see a huge difference between um, the one coat and the two. Maybe the holographic was slightly stronger, but I think this one is pretty much a one coater. I did two coats because I, I very rarely do one coat of anything, but yeah, just showing that here. So in person, this had a very slight pink lean to it. it depending on lighting, it's going to be more pink or purple. Um, I think it's like right in that sweet spot, sweet spot between a pinky and a purple color. And here it is. I got some daylight shots for this one. This is super, super holographic. I didn't have any issues with staining, but definitely make sure to wear base coat with this one because it is very opaque. Next up, we have Cruise Control. Cruise Control is described as a bright cobalt blue with shifting shimmer. It's priced at $11. Cruise Control had a great jelly-like formula. I did not have any formula or application issues. Um, I will note the shimmer does just slightly so show some brush strokes. Most of them disappear as the polish dries, but there are still some visible, I noticed. Um, if that kind of thing bothers you, you can always sponge this one on or just have, be more careful on your final coat to make sure your lines are straight. I think this one is going to be a three coater on pretty much everyone. I still had some pretty obvious visible nail line, but it wasn't like super bad. Like I, I thought this one was really stunning. Like it's super color shifty. In person, I was seeing like gold and greens and teals. It was just stunning. Next up is Easy Glowing. This one is described as a neon chartreuse jelly with color shifting flakies. It's priced at $11. This one had such a ridiculously bright color. Like, oh my God, I was just amazed. This is super, super bright. Anyway, this had a great formula. To me personally, it fell somewhere in between a jelly and a crelly polish. Like it was more opaque than I would expect from a jelly, but that's just me. The flakies all spread out evenly and easily on their own. This is one of those flaky polishes where you're going to get a couple of like the larger flakes, which I personally really, really love. I always get so excited when I get, th get those on my nails. <laughs> um, anyway, this is like a, the yellow base is like a highlighter neon yellow type of color. It's absolutely stunning. This one is going to be a two to three coater depending on your preference and nail length. The third coat does deepen the color to what you see in the bottle, so I would recommend three coats, but shorter nails could definitely get away with two coats. Nothing in here dry down textured or will be overly difficult to remove, and I did not experience any staining. Next up, we have Happy Camper. This one is described as a near aqua teal leaning robin egg blue cream. It's priced at $11. This polish had a fantastic formula. It's pretty much opaque in one coat. Um, shorter nails, I definitely think, can get away with doing one coat. I went in for two. I had like a couple of light spots that I, I could have fixed it with one coat, but I always do two coats of everything. This polish was so beautiful. Perfect formula. It self-leveled wonderfully. Hi, Editing Nicole here. So I just wanted to show the difference between KB Shimmer's Happy Camper and China Glaze for Audrey. Sorry, my China Glaze bottle has ugly bottle syndrome, but the China Glaze polish, not China Glaze, the, the KB Shimmer polish is definitely brighter. I think it's a lot more um, fun looking, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, yeah. 
Next up, we have Lights Out. This one is described as a dark midnight to purple multichrome that also shifts to a warm magenta and a gold. It's priced at $11. So the color shifts for this polish are absolutely mind-blowing. Like, um, it starts out like a dark purple that's almost black. You have like a navy, you have magenta, you have like um, a reddish color, a gold. You just get so many different colors with this multi-chrome. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I think this one is going to be a two-coater on most people. I'm showing it in three coats. I'll have a comparison of this in two coats versus three coats in a second. So here's Lights Out in two coats on my middle nail and three coats on my other nails. You can see when I hold my hand up to the light that you can kind of see some visible nail line on my middle nail up right here. Um, so this, that's why I said this is going to be a two to three coater depending on preference. If you really hate seeing your nails at a weird angle and seeing visible nail line, go in for that third coat. This also looks really great in uh, one coat over black. I did three coats for all of my photos here, and then on my thumbnail, it is one coat the over multi black. The multi-chrome in this one is mostly smooth. If you search for it, you will see some lines, but like you really have to search. I didn't find it particularly noticeable, to be honest. I was just blown away by just how many colors I was seeing for this polish. Um, nothing here is gonna be difficult to remove. No stain issues with staining either. Next up, we have Perfectly Suited. This one is described as a yellow with a hint of chartreuse with gold shimmer and holographic flakies. It's priced at $11. Perfectly Suited had a fantastic formula, not too thick or too thin, and it applied very evenly and easily. Um, the description on this one is perfect. It's very much a yellow with like a hint of chartreuse. Um, it's, it's, it, it especially leans yellow from that golden shimmer. That shimmer is super, super strong. It gives the polish almost a, a like, metallic look in some lighting. I, oh my gosh, it was a so beautiful in person. It's going to be a two to three coater depending on nail length and potentially personal preference. Personally, I thought it was good in two coats. I had a tiny bit of transparency on my tips. For personal wear, I'd wear this one in two coats because it really was very minimal, but for my photos, I am using three coats, and this is also very holographic. Nothing in here dried down textured or will be overly difficult to remove. Next up, we have Picture This. Picture This is described as a cherry leading polish loaded with a gold to copper to blue to purple shifting shimmer, as well as holographic flakies. It's priced at $11. This polish is extremely color shifty. The formula was absolutely fantastic. It didn't feel overly thick or thin. I was, again, blown away by this one, just how color shifty it was. Um, I was seeing all the described colors in person. I was just, it was just stunning. Um, I will note that the base, it kind of, depending on what color shimmer you're seeing, the base will lean somewhere between a cherry and a fuchsia, maybe even like a berry pink type of color. I was not seeing brush strokes in the shimmer. Um, looking at my swatch photos, I kind of see a few brush strokes, but like I really had to search for it to see it. Nothing in here dried down textured or will be overly difficult to remove, and I did not experience any staining. Next up, we have Red, White, and Bruise. This one is described as a faded red mega flame polish and it's priced at $11. This polish is one of KB Shimmer's um, ultra holographic micro glitters. So this polish, I, I talked about this in my polish pickup video. For this one, I had such a hard time trying to decide if the glitters were red holographic glitters or silver holographic glitters. The base is like a faded red color but this one is just so freaking holographic, it's really hard to tell what color the actual glitters are. There are definitely silver glitters in here, but my eyes just cannot focus on whether or not I'm also seeing red glitters. Just know it is extremely sparkly, extremely holographic. Um, I would say this is going to be a two to three coater depending on personal preference. You get full coverage in two coats. Because my nails are built on like clear gel, I did have a little bit of visible nail line in two coats, so I went in for three. 
due to this polish being a full coverage glitter, it is going to be very difficult to scrub off. Definitely soak this one off or you will be sad and covered in glitter or use a peel off base coat. Next up we have RV There Yet. This one is described as a pale silver leaving lavender with a copper to gold to a reddish orange shifting shimmer. It's priced at $11. RV There Yet had a great formula. I had zero application or formula issues. This was absolutely gorgeous. The copper shimmer is very color shifty and very in your face. I was just blown away. Personally, I would definitely say this one is a lavender polish, maybe with like a hint of metallic Enus <laughs> metallic is something I don't know. Um, I I don't really see the gray. Maybe it's slightly grayed out, but my eye is mo mainly just seeing like a very pale lavender with a very strong shimmer. The holographic flakies in this are also super holographic. You get so much bang for your buck with this polish. And also, I forgot to mention. Um, I did not see any brush strokes through that shimmer. Nothing in here dry down textured or will be difficult to remove. It was just absolutely gorgeous. So overall, I really enjoyed this collection. I wish that there had been more neon polishes in it, but I do like that there weren't neon polishes. There weren't, it wasn't just neon polishes. I don't know how that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. So my top picks from this release would be Easy Glowing. I just love, 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 loved the bright neon with the flakies, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. My second favorite would be the cream, which I was also very surprised that it was one of my favorites, Happy Camper. I thought that was very beautiful and I just love the KB Shimmer uh, cream formula. They're just always this buttery smooth application and I really enjoy them. My third favorite is going to be Picture This. Uh, I just love that base color. I just really liked how it looks different and like every type of lighting and just just absolutely gorgeous. And my final favorite is a toss up between Perfectly Suited and RV There Yet. I don't know which one I liked more, so I'll just say I like them both. <laughs> I don't know, I thought this collection was fantastic. I'm having a hard time deciding which ones were favorites. So again, these are all available right now on the KB Shiver website as well as their international stockist. I will have links to all that information down below. I would love to know, have you picked anything up from this release? Are you planning on it? Uh, just let me know. <laughs> I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.